Hello, my name is Hassan Kozami. I am Certified Markers of Dynamics CRM Consultant. This is my weblog. Unfortunately, it's only available in Persian language. And this is my LinkedIn profile. And in this very short video, I want to talk about scheduling and how to scheduling uh, recurring workflows. First, let's ask why would you need recurring workflows? There are many cases when you find yourself thinking, I need this to happen every X days, and you don't know how to solve the problem. For example, you need to email summary of resolved cases every month to a group of people within the organization, or maybe send some of your contacts a monthly or a quarterly email uh, contain the link uh, to your latest product catalogs. As a Dynamics CRM consultant, I see a lot of different scenarios and receive a lot of different requests from customers. A common request that I receive is to schedule uh, some process or task to occur on a regular basis. For example, a task might be to remind the sales team to look at report each day or might be automatically recalculate the goal each day and uh, there are a couple ways to accomplish this sort of thing a series of waiting workflows for instance but I'm going to describe a particularly interesting one that I stumbled upon with certain channel when everything is possible. As you already may know, there is really only one kind of process that you can easily schedule in CRM to occur on a regular, regular basis that uh, is a box deletion job. Here I'm going to leverage that fact and the capability of running a workflow trigger on a record deletion. However, uh, the point is a recurring workflow can be implemented like this. At first, you need to create an entity and a scheduled block delete job that deletes a specific record uh, of that entity type and add a workflow for that entity which starts whenever a specific record is deleted and do whatever you need in that workflow if you need, you can uh, have a custom workflow activity or a plugin. Go ahead at the end of the workflow, create a record of the same entity type. Here we go. You've got a recording workflow and CRM has nothing to complain about. Now, let me show you how, to, how it works. At first, I'm going to create the entity schedule workflow. For example, I put in a name and there is a lookup to project entity that I want to uh, have a task to be created every day uh, 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 regarding this project status. For example, until the project is active, I have to send a task to the project owner to uh, do something and uh, there is a workflow in processes and this is the send predict task for project owner for example Kazemi and as I say I'm gonna uh, create a schedule workflow the schedule workflow uh, is creating uh, is working on the entity schedule workflow as you see here and it's on record deletion is triggered on the delete record and at first I'm gonna create another uh, schedule work for record and put the Luca with the past uh, or deleted uh, schedule workflow Luca and then create a create a task 
then this task is well, regarding to that workflow and then there are some things or you can have everything you want to do here in this task or use custom workflow activities or on plugins or whatever you like and uh, so this uh, workflow is going to run on scheduled workflow entity, ent uh, entity and it's on record deletion it will trigger when a record is deleted but the main part is here in data management I have uh, I will going to set work delete job like this I'm going to schedule a block deletion job on schedule workflows and there is a lookup like project and I want to filter or define a criteria about the projects to be deleted who their status is active so all the records in schedule workflows that uh, are regarding to the projects who their status is active uh, have been deleted by this uh, buckle job as you can see this in summary and I'm gonna set this uh, for every one days happen or occur every one days and this is the summary that you can see so whenever a uh, record is deleted the workflow will create another process for uh, tomorrow to be deleted again and this will go on and so uh, in activities we will have sort of tasks that are created every day as you can see and uh, this is how uh, scheduling workflow activities and recurring workflow will happen in dynamic CRM thank you for your uh, time Bye till the next time.